As you may know, Chibson guitars are the fake or counterfeit Gibson style guitars that are currently coming out of China. Now I did a review about one of these guitars a little more than two years ago. So today I'd like to look back at that same guitar and see how it's held up over the past two years. Alright guys, so here is the Chibson Les Paul guitar that I bought more than two years ago. And I should tell you first off here, this guitar has not just been sitting in a case for that entire time. I've used it in several other videos. I even used it in a music video and I've jammed with it and recorded parts with it. And I have to say, considering I bought this guitar for $170, that's including shipping and everything, it's actually been a really good guitar. But that's not to say that it hasn't had some problems. The main thing that I've had issues with has been the electronics. And honestly, this shouldn't be a big surprise. They use, you know, the cheapest stuff that they can in these guitars to get them at a low, low price. Like I said, 170 bucks for this guitar when I bought it. So the problem I've had has been with the toggle switch wearing out and also some of the pots coming loose. The rest of the guitar has actually been pretty good. I haven't had any problems with frets lifting or any issues with the hardware or the finish. But when it comes to the electronics, it really didn't last very long. So what could we do about that? Well, obviously, uh, the pickups and the pots and the toggle switch, all the wiring could be easily replaced in a guitar like this. The pickups can be easily removed and the back cavity is easy to get to. And there are a lot of places on eBay or Amazon where you can buy full rewiring sets. Since I haven't had any problems with the wood or the hardware on the guitar, I think you could avoid all of the problems with some wiring work if you're willing to put a little bit more money into these guitars. Now guys, as I have mentioned in a lot of previous videos, these guitars violate all kinds of trademark laws and copyright laws and customs regulations, and no amount of upgrades is going to fix that. But something you can do as sort of an alternative is when you order one of these guitars, you can ask the builder to leave off all of the Gibson logos. Now there's still the issue of the trademark with the shape of the headstock, but at least the guitar won't be mistaken for a real Gibson, and that way it can't be resold again on the used market. And honestly, I think that is really the biggest problem. When people buy these guitars firsthand, they don't think that they're getting the real thing, but the guitar could be resold on the used market to somebody who's not a real expert on Les Pauls, and they could easily be fooled by one of these guitars. But now let me ask you guys, I know a lot of you out there do have these Chibson guitars, so what have you guys done to avoid issues with them, or are there issues that you guys have had that I didn't have? I would really love to hear from you. Also guys, what do you think about the concept of the fake counterfeit guitars that are coming out of China? This has been a very controversial issue. A lot of people are really down on Gibson because of perceived quality control issues that they've had lately. And then for other people, this is a very cut and dried situation because of all the trademark laws that are being violated. Let's let the internet decide in the comment section below. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you want to support the channel, I do have a Patreon now. You can go to patreon.com forward slash guitarmax. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time a new video comes out. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.